Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Sapphire. Today I'm doing a pre-poo with the Garnier Fruit Teas Grow Strong and my oil, the jojoba oil. So this is what I'm going to be doing to get that hydration and moisture for the rest of the week. So I'm just putting some in the bowl. Okay, not sure how much, but this should be enough to cover my whole hair. If not, then I'll probably add some more. It may be off camera. Sometime I have to do that. And I think it's about two tablespoons of oil. I just want a good consistency. Very, very smooth. Because whenever I do a pre-poo, every time my hair is so sleek and smooth. I love that. It keeps my hairstyle too. I love it. So a pre-poo is just, it just adds moisture to what I call thirsty hair, dry hair. It also promotes softer hair. Um, also makes it easier to use as a detangler. It really does soften up the hair, especially if your hair is long and thick. And sometimes it's uh, it take a while to, dis to just detangle. It really helps with that. Um, it's, it's, it's great for dry hair if you use it as a moisturizer. It's really great for dry hair. It also prevents breakage. This is what I love about it. It prevents breakage. I don't see any breakage in my hair. Um, pre-pooing is just a conditioning treatment used before you do a, a wash. Now, some people, they do a pre-poo and then they follow up. Um, with a, a, a hair wash so it won't be so stripping of the hair um, we can use shampoos if they could say moisturizing or hydrating um, these shampoos they are moisturizing and hydrating but in the same time they can still strip your hair of their natural oils so it's always best to protect your hair strands and your scalp so I'm just putting this throughout my roots and the end of my hair strands um, some people were asking um, how often should I do a pre-poo? And I, I would just reply back, it depends on your hair. I don't know your hair. I'm just doing the things that's best for my hair. And I only do a pre-poo once a month. Now, if your hair is drier, you know, around this time, then maybe you can do one twice a month, you know, or a few times. You get what I'm saying? You just have to pay attention to your hair and just follow through. You get what I mean? Just follow through. Okay. Remember, low porosity hair needs all the moisture that it can get, ladies. And that's true. Uh, I mean, we need all the moisture that we can get. Okay. Moisturizing routine should always be welcome. Okay. Moisturizing routines should always, always be welcome. I'm just going to braid this up as you see right here. I'm so sorry about the lighting. Every time I come up, you know, it goes a little dark. So you have to forgive me about that. So I'm going to continue with my hair. And then I will see you guys back here in a minute. I'm going to do all of this. That's why I'm showing you this. I'm going to do all of this and I'll be back. Okay, now I'm done. Everything is all finished. Okay. So now I'm just going to put on my cap and then I'm just going to leave this mixture on for about 20 minutes. I'm back. I'm done. I finished everything up. I used all of uh, the mixture up. I'm so proud of myself. Sometimes I leave like a teaspoon, but I used it all up. So thank you guys so much. I hope and pray that you enjoyed. If so, give it a thumbs up. Lord's will, you'll see me in the next one. Bye.